Hello and welcome to Right Now for Friday the 1st of December 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. The Turnbull government has done a spectacular backflip this week, announcing a Royal Commission into Australia's banking system. They were adamant right up until the announcement that a Royal Commission was not needed. Malcolm Turnbull and Treasurer Scott Morrison stated it was regrettable they had to make this decision, but it was taken, they claimed, to end economic uncertainty caused by speculation on this issue and to stop it being used as a political football. National MPs had been threatening to cross the floor to establish a Royal Commission, which is why the government suspended the House of Representatives this week. Even the big banks decided to write a letter to the federal government stating, just get on and call a Royal Commission. It is likely this will be a popular decision in and of, of itself in the electorate, as the banks do not have a good reputation, but the political damage to Malcolm Turnbull for capitulating on this issue will cause further political damage to him. It is certainly not something people expect to see from a free market party, and was described by John Howard last week as rank socialism. Labor Senator Sam Dastyari's links with Chinese businessman Wang Zengamo have returned to the spotlight after further revelations that he tipped off Mr Wang that his phone may be bugged by ASIO. Added to that, audio was released which demonstrated his contradiction of Labor policy on the South China Sea at a press conference with Mr Wang during last year's federal election was actually a carefully scripted remark, not an off-the-cuff remark to an unexpected question, as he led us to believe. Dastyari has resigned as Deputy Senate Whip, but Labor leader Bill Shorten has still left open the possibility he could return to a front bench position in the future. Given that Dastyari has basically undermined Australia's national interest and our security agencies, how could he have any future in politics? No parliamentary stunt or lame video will save his reputation now. The Dean Smith same-sex marriage bill passed the Senate on Wednesday, 43 votes to 12, with all the proposed amendments to protect freedom of speech and religion, as well as parental rights, being defeated. The bill now goes to the House next week, where similar amendments will also be moved. Malcolm Turnbull has been criticised by Conservatives for not showing leadership in making sure such protections are in place. As a result, he will support them in the House, whether that will be enough to see such amendments pass remains to be seen, despite being told that concerns about freedoms were red herrings during the postal survey and they were not under threat. It is disappointing to see that not even the most modest protections might not be included in the end legislation at all. United States President Donald Trump has further enraged his critics by retweeting three videos from the account of Deputy Britain First Leader Jada Franson, which shows Muslims engaging in violence against people and property. Britain First is a nationalist political party and street movement in the United Kingdom, with one of its key aims is to stop the Islamization of the nation. Despite being labelled a fringe far-right group, it has nearly 2 million Facebook likes and posts regular videos and updates on Facebook. A spokesperson for British Prime Minister Theresa May said it was wrong of Trump to retweet Britain first. Trump responded to this on Twitter by telling May she should focus on radical Islamic terrorism occurring in the UK instead of his tweets. If only these people outraged about Trump's tweets got just as outraged over Islamic terrorism and we might have seen some steps to eradicate it by now. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check back here again soon to see what is happening right now there.